Hope everybody's good. This should be a fairly quick video. I was gonna do a, a box break of the 2023 Big League, and I kind of did. I opened up a few packs, like seven packs. Uh, I've had the box for a little while now, and I've been picking at it slowly, and I opened a couple packs with my nephews. Uh, I had saved, I saw that there was an autograph in one. I didn't see who it was, so I saved that. And uh, I did, I opened up some on camera and I was just like, kind of, I don't know. I just didn't feel like, didn't feel good about it. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick recap. And this is for the people who have, uh, who have tried to guess who the autograph I pulled was. Uh, some people from Discord and some other places. And uh, you can tell by Baby Drango over here that it did not go as well as I had hoped. It is not going well! Uh, when I first saw the autograph, I actually thought it was Adley Rushman. I don't know why. I thought I got a glimpse of something, but it's not. So... Um, as far as Big League goes, <clears throat> I've always kind of, excuse me, <clears throat> I've always liked Big League. I thought it was a really good entry level product, um, especially compared to, uh, that trash, uh, triple play. Triple play! Uh, that was, that's, I mean, I, I don't consider that product worth giving to a dead alligator or this dude. Um, it's hard, it's really just bad stuff. So this has always, to me, been a pretty good entry-level product, and I think this year was the best year I've seen. I had, um, seen a couple people open packs, uh, or a box breaks online, and, and I thought they looked really cool, and I liked that they were adding a lot more stuff, and the inserts were neat. I did see a couple videos that I didn't watch, but they had, like, the thumbnails were, like, Tops is ruining Big League or, uh, you know, something to that effect. There was a couple of those. I'm just going to assume it's because they added more chasing and chase cards and stuff like that. Because I, I can't think of any other reason why. <laughs> People would be upset that of the, of the, the, the way this product came out. Sorry about that truck going by. What an asshole. Jeez. No respect. To, to, to filmmakers like myself. I'm an artist. Just driving trucks by delivering goods to people who need them. Uh, anyways, so uh, I like it. We'll just quickly go through um, some of these. these you probably already seen, like what I'm, I'm not gonna show you anything you haven't seen probably. City Slickers, you know, you have Mike Skremski's mustache. That's like, <laughs> Probably one of the highlights of the box. I don't know when mustaches got cool again, because but they are, and and I'm here for it. I'm all about. It. I don't have a mustache. Uh, they just don't look. They look weird on me. I mean, everything looks weird on me, but mustaches really don't look good. Uh, but I'm kind of happy that they're back. I'm not feeling. He looks like a. Stacy Keach a little bit. We have the Oreos mascot, Rangers captain, a J Rod ape. But I do like these cards. Uh, I assume that there are numbered parallels of them, which would be a really fun set to put together. Uh, these graffiti cards, Christopher Morell. I don't see now with this one, this Pete Alonzo. I get it. Like you know, there's a polar bear behind him, about to ferociously attack him and shred him into a pile of meat. Uh, I don't know what's going on between his legs there. Sweet meat peats. Packing a peanut there. But anyways, I don't know what this Christopher Morell one, you know, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a nickname card because son of a Dominican basketball player weighed only 120 pounds. Uh, I would think like you would have a mushroom there, you know, like a morale mushroom is that what they are anyways 
Um, we have Oswald Peraza blue foil. I'm not sure the odds on these are. They're not numbered, I don't think. And uh, another Christopher Ronald foil, Logan O'Hoppy, I believe is out getting shoulder surgery. A very greasy looking Cade Cavalli. Eloy looking, I don't know. This dude right here, if they ever remake Unbreakable, he should play Mr. Glass or whatever his name is because this dude is made of glass. They called me Mr. Glass. For, he's going to be like a, a Buxton where I don't think he's ever going to have a full season. Uh, regard, I mean, it, that always really upsets me. Like when I look at Byron Buxton's numbers and see how good he he is when he's healthy and just what a freak amazing athlete he is and then you see how many games he he's played it, it's unreal like if he was if Buxton stayed healthy he, he would be a no doubt Hall of Famer I think Eloy I don't know if he's that good but um, he's definitely a talented player <laughs> It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Dylan Cease tipping his hat to my lady. My lady. Salvador Perez. I'm very happy, Salvador Perez. Baez, who's been playing better since he was benched, and then just a bunch of base. There's some decent rookies in here and stuff like that. Um, the the cards are really good stock. Uh, the QC is overall pretty good. The foils are nice. They do have print mines like where's that? Mushroom Boy. I don't know what on. There he is. If you can see in the camera, there is a big print line running, running down here. Unfortunately, I wouldn't, it doesn't really matter to me. It's not the cards that I would get graded. He's got a ding on him. Anyways, they're really good cards and it's a really fun set and it's 50 bucks. And some of the comps on the autographs and the uh, inserts, like there's that, um, uh, follow back insert where I think it's a redemption. I don't know if they're all redemption. I, I know the Mike Trout one is a redemption where you scratch off the code and you get the uh, you put in the code and Mike Trout will follow you back on like Instagram or something like that. And they, I think the one I saw sold for 5000 bucks or a little over. And I think it's just a neat set. Now Hello, is this one nine seven six psych? I was in the dark until I called one nine seven six psych. Now I know my past, present, and my future. You can too. Call one nine seven six psych. Our autograph, not so neat. Uh, like I said, you look at his face, you can see poor baby Durango is just destroyed, ruined. Um, so yeah, I asked people to guess who this was, who, what the auto was. Um, Shea Langliers or Langliers. Is it Langliers? Langliers is the Stephen King one, right? The Langliers. Honey, there's nothing wrong here. But there is. This place smells wrong. Really badly wrong. Um, Yoshida's just been an animal. That dude is going to be... Rookie of the Year, AL Rookie of the Year, no doubt. I can't see 
any other way. So let's see. Who do we have? I'll, I can show you. It is a twin. Yep. Twin cities. Already. Not so good. And it is a pitcher. Louis Varland for the Minnesota Twins. Now, he's not a terrible pitcher. Uh, I think he's done okay for the Twins this year. Uh, I just quickly looked at his baseball reference page and uh, it looked okay. And that's, that's the autograph. I wish it was a Louis Anderson autograph. I, I do have a Louis Anderson card, a relic. I bought the night he passed away. Um, I, I absolutely love Louis Anderson. I think he's, I wouldn't call him an underrated comedian because, you know, he's, he's, he's very well known, but I don't think a lot of people realize how good he was. Yeah, you know, I, I grew up with uh, Life with Louis, and uh, there was a movie he did in the 80s with Richard Belzer. He did for a little while. Because... <laughs> <laughs> He's all right, he's just sleeping. He's sleeping, really. That's, I, was, I was a sleeper hole, he'll be all right. He's waking up now, nah, that was a serious right, brother. A lot of people. <laughs> See, it works. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, another Richard comedian, very neurotic. He's on uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. God, what do I do? Do I pack it? Do I wear it? I'll pack it. Yeah, sure, you know, I'll pack it, and I'll get off the plane, and it'll be raining, and I'll come down with ammonia, I'll just, I'll wear it, I'll wear it. Yeah, sure, I'll wear it, and I'll get there, and I'll get off the plane, and I'll be on the West Coast, and it'll be a, a hundred degrees, and I'll get into a cab, and I'll look like an out-of-town schmuck in a coat, and they'll mock me, and they'll just throw me in a ditch and steal my money. Ah, I'll pack it. And a bunch of other, uh, an ensemble cast called The Wrong Guys, where... It was a group of Cub Scouts who never were able to, they were all kind of nerdy or overweight or whatever. They were, they were a bunch of misfits. And they, I think it was they like couldn't climb a mountain or something when they were Cub Scouts. So as adults, they go back. And Louis Anderson was the leader of the, of the troop. Uh, Mom, let me fix your hair. Oh. She's a go-go dancer. And they run into the bullies that they had. And then they run into John Goodman, who's like a an escape convict who's gone mad. You can run, you can hide, but you'll never get off this mountain alive! They're not mad, he's after them, whatever, but I, I used to love that movie. So those two things, you know, Louis Anderson, I, I had become a fan of him as a kid. And then when I got a little bit older, when my parents split up, I'd go to my father's house and I'd stay on Saturday nights, uh, Friday, Saturday nights over there. And every Saturday night I'd watch Saturday Night Live. And then Louis Anderson would host a comic show for young comedians. And he would come out as the MC, and he would do like, three to five minutes of material and then the comedians would come out and he was so good that I would just shut the uh, everybody looked like shit after after he did his little bit and uh, he was just so good that every, I, I would just change it and put on ECW or something wrestling at the time and then older as I got older he did baskets with Zach Galifianakis who played his mother and he was just so good in that and he was one of the very few comedians that I, I did want to go and see at some time, but it's not going to happen now. But the night he passed away, I did buy his. I did buy a, uh, a relic card of his. And I uh, wish I had it handy. I didn't know I was going to be pulling a Louis, Louis Varland. And uh, that's about it. Um, I, I, was, I brought out Corky from Life Goes On for a little bit of luck and he's filled me just like every one of every one of my i don't know 
what you'd call these things that <laughs> bring out the luck. Trapped souls, I guess. That's kind of how I look at it. They're, they're, they're the souls of these people that I've smooshed into a card and I try to extract the, the good luck out of them. Does that make sense? This man actually, some of you might know, been around this channel for a while, but uh, most of you probably don't know. I, I, this, this guy, his name's Jim Havizda, and he, um, as a kid, I had this card. I don't know where I got it from, and I always thought it looked like Corky from Life Goes On. I thought that was kind of cool, and I, I kept the card. And then years later, I looked him up, and I, I, I'm not sure if he's on death row, but he's definitely he's life in prison. He, he, um. He offed his wife, and it was just a thing that I, this guy was like a meme to me all my life, this card, and then I found out he did such a, this horrible, horrible thing, and I don't even, I don't even know why I'm telling you this. This is just, uh, I'm wasting your time, I'm wasting my time, and, uh, and it's about time that I call it. So that's it. That's the recap. Louis Varlin was our autograph. At least we got a Yoshida. I'm not mad about the purple, I mean, uh, the blue Peraza. Um, I don't know what else. I, I Maybe I'll do Heritage. Whatever comes out next, I'll probably get a hobby box of uh, maybe Heritage Tribute. I'm not going to touch that crap. Um, yeah, if, if you, if you, I'm not going to say if you like this video, because I don't, I don't really think it, it's possible to like this video, but if you, if you didn't hate it, leave me a like or a comment, just say hi, just let me know that how you're doing, just, did you do anything fun today, you know, if you need to talk about uh, 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 something, we could talk about anything. You need to talk about whales, or maybe, I don't know, <laughs> whether you like whole milk or skim milk, just leave me a comment and let me know, and uh, I'll, I'll be there for you, and um, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry that you watched this, and uh, I uh, might see you again sometime, goodbye.